Hello everyone, what's up? For this video, I want to work on another misty forest landscape. And for this particular shot, I want to restore the shadows a little bit and just in general give this whole image a slight blue color cast to make it look a little bit more mysterious. So let's jump into it. As you can see, I'm in the camera raw editor of Adobe Photoshop. That means I will be doing all the editing in here. I'm not using Lightroom but I probably will use the Nick Collection plugin. But first, let's go to the Optics tab and activate those two settings real quick. And I'm also going into the Geometry tab since I think those trees are a little uneven and I want to fix that by simply dropping the vertical slider. This should help quite a bit. And those gaps will be filled later in Photoshop using the content aware fill. So let's go back to the profile right there and I'm going with Adobe standard since this will already help me with the darkest areas of the image. Now for the basic stuff, I am increasing the blacks first. Then I'm also adding contrast. And I actually want to drop the shadows. I just don't want to underexpose anything, but that looks good for now. Then let's also drop the texture slightly just to make this image appear to be a little softer. And by increasing the clarity, we get some more structure going. Now, since this is a very hazy image, we could drop the dehaze further to increase the effect. I think that works pretty good here. All right. And finally, let's also add some vibrance. Just like that. Nice. Then let's head to the local adjustments. And for this shot, I have applied two gradiated filters. And... I mainly want to fix the foreground. So let's work on this bigger one first. And here just bring up the whites to make this a little brighter. That should already be enough. Then for the next gradiated filter you can see I only target the grassy floor area of the forest. And that's because I want to have some more structure here. So let's turn up the texture. Let's also turn up the clarity. And this way we just get some more detail in here, which is nice for this shot. Now I also have applied two radial filters just for the very, very bright part in the top of the picture. And I'm using this radial filter to just add a little bit of glow by simply increasing the blacks. All right, and then I'm using this bigger radial filter to fix the overexposure that's going on here. So I'm just dropping the highlights. All right, nice. That's already it for the local adjustments. Then for the color grading, I'm starting in the curves tab in the blue channel. For this shot, I want to make the highlights a little more bluish. That means I can simply pick the upper point and drag it to the left. And this way we can introduce some nice blue color cast. It's almost like split toning here. Now there seems to be a little overexposure, but I think that's okay in this case. Then let's check the color mixer tab. I don't think I'm touching the hue or saturation. I just want to bring down green saturation as well as the aqua saturation. And this way we get a nice orange looking forest floor, which works pretty well with the blue tone of the mist in the background. Finally, let's also turn up the blue saturation a bit. That looks pretty nice. Then for the color grading, I'm simply using the shadows to apply a cold color tone, which will further enhance the mood of the image. Uh, I think those settings look Good, so no need to change anything here. Then finally, let's sharpen the image in the details tab. And now we can finish it in Photoshop. So to fill those gaps first, I'm selecting the lasso tool right here. 
Then let's zoom in a little bit and just make a rough selection. Hit Shift F5, select Content Aware and just hit OK. Then let's do the same thing on this side. Make a rough selection. Hit Shift F5 and hit OK. Then I also want to clean up the image a little bit. For this purpose, I'm just using a spot healing brush. Zoom in again and just get rid of some distracting objects. Okay, that looks much, much better. Now let's see if I can add some more contrast using a curves adjustment layer. And here I'm just applying a simple S curve. Just like that. To get a little bit more contrast out of this image. And now let's merge those two. And at this point I want to check the Nick Collection plugin to do the final adjustments. And here first I want to go with the polarization effect, which will give this image some nicer color tones in my opinion. So let's turn up the strength. As you can see right now, it just makes the image a lot darker, which is not what I want. So besides turning up the strength, I just play around with the rotate slider. And you can see we get some nicer highlights when we set the rotate to zero degree. And that looks much better, I think. Let's just decrease the strength a bit. All right, now let's add another filter right away. Let's see what the pro contrast can do here. Maybe add some dynamic contrast. All right, that should do it. And then another filter, glamour glow effect. Let's reset the saturation though. Or actually, let's drop it a bit. And let's also drop the glow effect to not make this too heavy. I think that looks good. All right, and then let's apply it like this. Okay, and that's it for editing this misty forest landscape. I hope this was interesting and helpful. If you have any questions left, then feel free to ask in the comments. And thank you very much for watching this video.